Hi, my name is Julie Strauss. I am the Vice President for Project Sophia, a new business application in Microsoft. Project Sophia is a true AI-first business application. It's a service that's been designed to completely redefine how complex cross-domain business problems are solved. When we say AI first, it means that every experience, every interaction has been designed leveraging the full power and potential of generative AI. It also means that uh, what you see may not look like a business application to you, but trust me, it is. We simply reimagined what a business application could look like when we are thinking AI first, using the power of generative AI to its fullest. So what you'll see is essentially an infinite AI-powered business research canvas where you as a user can ask any business question. You can start by uploading uh, data you want to explore, or you can simply ask a question and Sophia will start a research journey for you, correlating insight, pulling in even external data to support you through the explorations as you need. We will intelligently visualize exploration outcomes and also suggest actions in your research journey. Stepping back a little bit, what does it even mean? Let's look at one of the most critical functions in an organization when it comes to identification and unlocking on untapped potential. Please meet Joe. Joe is an analyst. Every organization has, or at least should probably have, an analyst or even teams of analysts that support the various domains of the business. It doesn't matter what department you're in or even to some extent which function you're in, you will always have both tactical as well as strategic questions that can be better and more accurately answered with the help of an analyst. That does not mean we all have access to this critical talent though. We'll get to that in one second. If you have access to analysts, typically what you do is you share a question or business challenge you want addressed. And in turn, this requires the analyst to go collect relevant data, to perform the analysis, to present findings, and creating reports. And they'll start collaborating with you on the findings to jointly solve the business problem and then start the broader communication. Sometimes it will be a small question that will take an hour to address, and sometimes it can take weeks and sometimes even months. Sometimes questions are even not asked at all because they're simply too complex and too expensive to solve. For example, if you want to know how to optimize your supply chain or your production line to boost sales by 10%, that's a highly complex business problem that literally spans so many domains of your business that we tend to never ask these questions in the first place. What makes it so complex is that even if there is a Joe in every business domain, whether you're in sales, service, finance, or HR, this analysis is often done within these departmental silos. That is where Project Sophia come into play. With Project Sophia, not only will we allow you to have access to your own Joe, your own analyst, you will also have access to the power of this rich domain expertise across all departments. So with Sophia, you will initially upload data. Over time, we will help you discover it and you can ask any business question and we will help you correlate insight and suggest actions and share findings. To support this process, uh, we have the canvas, uh, which is also what will help you navigate your journey to share your findings and over time collaborate with other subject matter experts as well as your peers. This does not mean we're replacing Joe. There will be plenty of Joes. We just allow you to scale with access to the superpowers of Joe. It does also not mean that uh, Project Sophia is a BI tool. It simply means that with a focus and intelligence around core business processes, we allow you to effortlessly research where optimizations can happen and allow you to build and navigate what journeys you can build in matter of minutes versus hours or month. But as this is a completely reimagined experience, it can be kind of complicated to wrap your head around. So let's take a look at Project Sophia in action and you can see something rather complex made really simple. This is the landing page where any user, even before signing in, can engage with the system and realize the value in minutes. 
we provide sample data that will be loaded with a click of a button to ensure there's no friction in getting started. I am really keen to show how Project Sophia can help me optimize the sales performance for my sales organization. So I'll upload my own local file uh, covering sales and pipeline data across my sellers. Now Sophia is automatically generating what we call a blueprint. Um, it will take a bit, which you'll see is quite reasonable as uh, the system is literally performing work that would have taken me hours to accomplish without the power of Project Sophia. Under the covers, we put AI to work, doing deep analysis of the data set and then preparing insights for presentation and next actions. This is the blueprint, the purple frame you see here. This is designed to help provide some structure to the AI powered research that is easier to navigate. The blueprint contain three columns of information. To the left, you see a textual overview, visual representations of insights in the middle, and a list of suggested next actions to the right. Every blueprint and all information blocks within it are generated using large language models. And each of the blocks are optimized to deliver high value insights to the business that would have taken substantial effort to gain without the use of Sophia. To illustrate, if you look at something as simple as a text overview to the left, you will see that it is not only describing the data that you can find in the file, it also provides insights into the data that you wouldn't have able to be discovered by simply opening the file and looking at the data. Calculating the top accounts within each industry is an example of that. So aggregating data across industries, sellers, geographies are some of the ways that Sophia helps call out highlights in the data set. Looking at the visualizations in the middle, we always strive to provide two or three different visualizations. The goal being to uncover insights from multiple angles, ensuring that you not only can visualize the complex, but also to identify broader patterns of data to unveil research path you may otherwise not have even thought of. Here, for example, we illustrate the relationship between annual revenue and the pipeline for each sales rep, which really speaks not only uh, to a seller's current performance, but also his or her ability to ma maintain performance over time. Here, Lena Powell stand out uh, quite significantly as a high performing seller, both from a revenue and a pipeline perspective. Her performance is further amplified here in the second visualization where the highest performing individual account also is owned by Lena. So seller performance clearly making for an interesting area for us to dive further into to assess whether Lena represents working patterns that we can replicate and scale across the business to optimize the performance across more sellers. This first blueprint is where the journey starts. And once I've explored the blueprint and formed opinions, I can take action. For that, I can use the actions provided by Sophia. We have different type of actions, collaborative actions here represented by the ability to have Sophia author an email that I can use to easily share some of the content with a colleague. Alternatively, I can use explorative actions as a simple way to dive deeper into the data, building out multi-fork research journeys. The explorative actions can provide suggestions to pull in external data like industry trends or competitive data when relevant for the particular context. This is one of the areas where the fusion of large language models and Sophia's domain knowledge come into play and can save me an incredible amount of time suggesting exploration path that otherwise might have taken multiple iterations to identify and execute on. Each of these options will generate a new blueprint establishing the next step on my research journey. So naturally, I can continue exploring my data and expand my journey through suggested actions, but that is almost too easy. And I'd like to give you the opportunity to see a really powerful concept in action that we call the AI cursor. The AI cursor is a fully contextual chat experience that allows you to click anywhere on the canvas to trigger a conversation.
This is a great way for me to dive deeper into Lena's sales performance. So I can simply take my AI cursor, click on the specific area I'd like to explore, and further trigger a conversation. And I can simply ask Sophia, what are some of the reasons why Lena is outperforming? I can either have the option to simply update the existing blog I have selected, or I can generate a full new blueprint, which is what I will do to help you get a better feel for the journey I can create using Sophia, and you can see the power of the full canvas. So another blueprint is being generated. Now things become really interesting as we dive deeper into the data. We call out which account Lena has had success selling into, indicating where her strengths are. You can see she's focused on building strong customer relationships, but even more importantly, you can see that she has invested in building out strategic next steps and action plans for each one of her accounts. Sophia even calls out that Lena used some of the customer challenges to build tailored solutions. So looking at the visualizations, they support the same findings, yet from another angle. Here allowing us to break out her revenue achievements across industries, allowing us to continue to discover broader trends within her performance. So what is emerging here is a larger profile revealing what makes Lena a strong seller and why she's outperforming her peers, which ideally we can consider replicating across the entire sales force to scale her efforts and boost the overall performance for the entire organization. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see the entire journey that I've taken. So when I'm ready to share with a colleague, I can simply invite them into the workspace. And instead of me having to explain every step I took, every blueprint I built for them, I can simply invite them in and they can follow the journey in a self-service manner. The ability of creating multiple forks in the journey, as well as proactively sharing a workspace, are some of the capabilities we aim to include in the very near future. Okay, so far, We have engaged in what we call an exploratory journey, but another super powerful concept is business process guides. Let me navigate to our homepage to access guides. Guides are essentially guardrailed experiences where we aid the user through the process of achieving a specific outcome for a very specific high value business task. The first guide we support as part of the preview release is account planning, or sales territory planning if you want. Account planning can be as simple as creating a list of customers ranked in order of projected sales. But an account plan can be so much more than that. For example, how do you know that customers with the biggest pipeline are also the customers who has the highest propensity to close? You don't really. So as mentioned before, the value of Project Sophia is to help the user both broaden their approach in taking more aspects of their business into account while at the same time pulling a plan together in a fraction of the time. I will upload data about my accounts and my sales reps. Naturally, we will detect the relationship between these files so we can create a comprehensive view. That's it. I have an AI-generated account plan. To the left, you see, we give you an indication of the data strength, meaning With the data I uploaded, how strong a plan can be created? I only got one dot out of three, so it's not a super strong plan. But regardless, Sophia went ahead and generated a plan based on the data uh, she did have at her disposal. So consider this a draft. It's a starting point for the user. And the idea is that we will indicate what other data uh, that you can help collect to strengthen the plan. But let's take a look at what actually was created with the data we did have. I have an account summary. I'm showing the high revenue customers, which is important so I don't lose sight of them. But the most important piece is really the customers that has the highest growth potential. Of course, we're looking at the pipeline, which is key to selecting uh, key accounts for growth. But we are also looking at other aspects like relationship strength, and the actual product usage and loyalty program status, etc. But again, this is just a starting point. And now Sophia will engage in a dialogue with me to collect additional data points that can help 
strengthen the data signal, and as a result, create a really strong and comprehensive account plan. During this process, we may also pull in industry trends and or competitive information. So it's in reality, we built a holistic view. And it's been designed to instantly make you realize that by using Sophia, you can execute on these high ROI business processes with more efficiency and a higher speed than you can without her. The intent is that Sophia will be creating new habits and very quickly and completely redefine how complex business problems are solved. Account planning is just the first of many business process guides. We also plan to support guides for other high value business tasks, such as financial close and supply chain, and ideally over time built a third party ecosystem around guides. So ideally, what you saw here will help you understand how Sophia has been designed to broaden the approach that any user can take to solve complex business problems, to take more aspects of your business into account, and at the same time, identifying high impact actions in a fraction of the time. It is also important to call out that while Sophia has been built as an independent service and essentially represents a new category of business applications, it is also designed to work incredibly well with all our existing business applications as well as other co-pilots in Microsoft. In fact, you will see us invest in leveraging skills built by other teams, as well as allow other teams and products and services to integrate with Project Sophia over time. So you really should think of Project Sophia as a fully complementary service to any other AI investment in Microsoft and to any other business application in Microsoft. We are still in the very early days of Project Sophia, and as you saw in the demo, we currently support the ability to upload local files, whether that be Excel, CSV, and PDF, uh, as basis for your data explorations. We only made that choice to make sure we could build a holistic end-to-end -end experience in such an early stage. The real power of Sophia will uh, start to emerge when we integrate and accelerate into our next phase where we'll be doubling down on broadening the data sources we will support. We will support both data discovery and richer connectivity. Think about all the data you may have in Dataverse as well as uh, in over the thousand data sources we support access to through the Power Platform. These are data sources we'll want to enable for Project Sophia over time as well. Domain-specific intelligence is another area of investments you'll see us doubling down on, where we will home in on the intelligence and the proposed visualizations and actions we can generate based on the various business domains you as a user may be representing. Finally, business process guides. I demonstrated for you how we have enabled account planning, which is a complex, high return on investment business task that many organizations actually don't perform to the extent they probably should. The reason they don't invest is simply because it's too complex and the outcomes get dated even before you're complete with the first cycle. And finally, because no apps exist in the market for it today. With Project Sophia, account planning is just the first of many guides. We'll continue to invest here, empowering you to take these high impact business tasks to broaden your perspective, create a plan in a fraction of the time it would take you without Sophia. Financial close could be another example as well as supply chain optimi optimization. This leads me to our final slide and my big ask for you. Please go and try out Project Sophia, which enters public preview now at Ignite. Help us shape the future direction of the product by giving us feedback. This will allow you to gain value using this AI-powered business application moving forward.